we have another graveyard of combine harvesters and heavy agricultural vehicles. Now this is only one side of what we've walked around this lane is exactly the same just on the other side just behind there. I mean I'll just I'll walk through here and I'll just show you. Well we've just walked up this side but the side we're about to take you down is probably a lot better. These are a bit a bit repetitive as you can probably see. Right. These, 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 they're all the same. They're all the same style of vehicle, so we'll cut boring now. This is this was something different. There weren't many of these on the other side. Big old some sort of saw miller on top. So yeah, I've got all these cool little attachments on them that like I said, this is a better side. <laughs> Someone's happy that we found some rusty rusty materials. So Tokyo Matilda. Abandoned UK just right down there. And yeah. <laughs> Let's have a little mooch around. So these on the other side are pretty much these, but this is in better condition. But I'll save you ten minutes for looking at the same type of vehicle. So that's all those on the other side. Yeah, we've got bits. And I can't even begin to explain what we're for what. Oh. That looks like an old steam drain booth this year. I don't know. I don't know crap about this. Hopefully anybody watching this can probably inform me a bit more. Now this is a permission visit. We have decided to take the adult choice of asking if we can have a look around these before we go sneaking in and stuff. So it's worked in our favour. He said, yeah, not you said that. And here we are now. So we never said, don't climb up on me. Oh crap, I'm not going to anywhere, that's swinging. So yeah, cut, we're not going to do that. But yeah, nice big old John Deere combi. <laughs> yeah, so... Is is a little blooper reel, so she's just filmed an intro. I'm gonna have to go back up and do it again. Done it all in like slow motion. There she goes again, having to refilm it. But yeah, what a start to day. We've got a few things lined up, but not compared to this, and this is gonna be the sketchiest one so far. So, getting permission to explore these is a big, big relief. I've started to notice different brands like these. Dronenborg. Get it on wide for you. So yeah, Dronenborg, never heard of that one. This is what we've been seeing a lot of Macy Ferguson or Massey Ferguson. Yeah, you can see tell some of these have been here for a long, long time. Some look brand new. We've literally we've actually, as we're driving down the road to get here, there were uh, heavy goods trailer, it will bring in something like this, <laughs> bringing something like this into the yard and we followed it all the way up and it, Dan even said he's saying it, this is probably going to this yard we're going to and it did as we pulled in it come in behind us so we're getting brand new, brand new combines and stuff like that delivered as well so it's a fully operational yard. So don't go thinking this is not abandoned. This is not abandoned, sorry, like don't go thinking it's any type of abandoned. This is a, some one yard, so if you do happen across the location, just be a bit respectful and at least go ask permission and stuff first. So apparently, so apparently abandoned UK has just got his uh, Missy Ferguson license. First day on job. First day on job. Oh, listen. There's a lever around here yeah, that you, you turn to move the ladders round. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> no, obviously it's tragic. Yeah, look at this, you can see all inner workings, got all belts. Bit of an engineer's pawn for you there. Oh, we've even got console box. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm not going to be sticking my fingers in there. Off. Yeah, I'll go have a look. <laughs> so, before I climb up and have a look with my own eyes, I'll give you a little peep of that. I'll right stick it in my pocket and bring it back. So, we are back. We are up. And it's inside a cab, guys. How cool is that? Looks a bit like Mitsubishi. But, yeah. Maintenance paperwork. I'm gonna jump out of this before I get seen. So I don't think we're supposed to be climbing about. Bring it back again in two. So we are safely back down. Yeah, see all the inner workings. Let's take you in. It's mad. Mad lot of place. Especially when the weather's nice. Can't be a little walk around something like this. Every day, different makes models, yeah, damn right. I reckon the problem with these though is overheating problems. Yeah. Being overworked. Maybe not enough maintenance. Yeah, these so three here look one spanking new. Though. That's what I was saying, like that one we've just seen coming in. That brand new one. Well that was a brand new one, wasn't it? Uh, so yeah, I think she's finally finally managed to record an intro. Maybe it's not in slow motion this time. So yeah, moving down lines, just a bit further down. We're probably about halfway down this track now. Maybe just a bit more. I uh, just thought I'd bring you back. Cause look at these. These are proper old school. Wouldn't have a clue. Where to begin with these? Again, John Deere's a lot of John Deere equipment. That's probably the only farming brand stuff that I actually have heard of. Uh, hashtag farming simulator. <laughs> yeah. I could probably just keep quiet and have some music over this as a walk by, so I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate it. Look at that old gold extinguisher. Or maybe it's a special type of extinguisher. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think I think this was definitely a good show. And we are at the end of the stretch. We're gonna go say thank you to John now for letting us peruse round his vehicles because not a lot of people would let you just throw me here on your scent. I mean, fair play to them. So yeah, if you end up seeing this, thank you very much. Massively appreciated. But I'm gonna come and tell you that in person now anyway. But yeah, plenty more explorers to come from today. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're not, or if you are, and you haven't seen Fukushima series, why not? Because there's not many videos of Fukushima out there. Get your send on my channel, check it out. We're going to say thank you to John because he's a legend for letting us do this. Catch you on the next one. Peace!